ground and then um, back on the mat. So join for whatever feels good for you. Um, I'm going to bring the chair in. Um, I'll go ahead and just start in the chair. So yeah, this is a 20 minutes a day for the Trevor Project, but um, I've been out for a couple of days, so it's going to be longer and uh, we'll just see what we get. Um, enjoy some movement. Come on in. If you want to just take a seat, you can just start seated wherever that is, if that's on the ground or in your couch, in your chair. Let's come into our breath. So any of the stuff that I'm gonna do in the chair, if you're on the mat, you can just do it in in your um, easy seat pose or however you want to keep your legs. I'm gonna go ahead and take the chair and do this. Oh good, you do get to see my head. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was gonna disappear completely or not. Okay, trying to get all of this in the screen and in the video and whatever is hard sometimes. Um, but let's come on into our place, into your breath, settle in, shake it out. Take a couple of cleansing breaths, and we'll start with the little neck rotation. You can either go side to side, or maybe you're looking left to right, or like a little tick-tock in the head. Yes, no, whatever feels good. Let's just open up the neck first. Shake out those shoulders. Let's bring in those hands. Open up the wrists and the hands. They do so much work for us. Let's give them some love. Bring those arms in. Open it up just a little bit. And then my favorite, high five. <laughs> and then pull those fingertips back. Oh, feel that all the way through the shoulder. Let's do that other side. High five, friends. Grab those fingertips, roll that shoulder back, open it up. Let's do the reverse on the wrist as well. And then come back to the other side. Let's go ahead and shake it out, shake it out. And let's just add in a little stretch. So I'm gonna plant my hands down, plant the right and just reach up with my left arm, find that length, relax the shoulder on the right, and then let's just lean over. Leaning towards the right, I'm sending my hip down, trying to stay lengthened, but also stretch and open. And come on back, oh, shake it out. Other side, reach up, reach on the right, roll those shoulder blades back, and then lean over, start that tick-tock. Relax the shoulder, open up the right side, and then come on back, shake it out. Let's find that twist. I'm gonna come all the way over, bringing my right side over, left hand just comes over to the knee, straighten up the back, and then find that gentle twist. Come on back to center, shake it out. Let's go to the other side. Left hand back, right hand on the left knee. Inhaling out, and then exhale into that twist. Relax, come on back. Do a couple of openers and just open up the heart. We'll come in and just send the arms. We'll go out to the side if that's comfortable, or you can come forward either way. I'm going out and up. Inhale, reach up, lengthen up, and exhale. Just open the arms, relax the shoulders down. Do that a couple more times. Inhale, reach up, scoop up, look up. Exhale, relax, let it go. One more time. Reach up. And exhale, let it out. 
shake it out. To add a little bit of our lakes in here. Can you see my lakes? I can scoot back. Still can't really see much. <laughs> here we go, that's probably better. All right, bring the legs, bring some fun to it wherever you're at. If you're on the mat, you can um, extend, point, and flex. Just come into your staff pose. Let's roll those ankles. Open them up. Open those legs up. And then let's bring one of those knees in. So coming to the edge, I'm actually going to get rid of my little cushion. I do the little cushion for when I do all my work. <laughs> bring that knee up. Can add some playfulness here as well, or kind of add an additional stretch. That's where I'm going. Kind of add a rotation, opening the hip. And then we'll go to the other side. So send that foot down. I was on my right. Bring the other one up. And then begin that stretch wherever you're at. Maybe you're swinging, maybe you're guiding your hip open, doing this rotation, or just holding your knee. You can hold it up under the thigh or on the shin, whatever works, whatever feels good. Shake it out. All right, let's add a couple of forward folds. We'll do some sun salutations, little seated. Inhale, bring those arms up. Oh, I need to move. Hit my little wall there. Inhale up, reach up, find that length, and then exhale. We're gonna fold, but we're just gonna stop right at the knees. So just hang out here for a second, shake it out. Take another breath. And we'll inhale, come on up. We'll do that again, but this time we're gonna go all the way down. Inhale, reach up. Look up. Exhale, come down, and then find your way kinda down into yourself, into a forward fold. I need to open my legs up make room for my body. And then on the inhale, use the legs, use the body, pull yourself up, come back up to that seat. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach up, look up, exhale, hinge, bend at the hips and just forward fold down. Come on up, use your body. <laughs> I'll go ahead and take my sweatshirt off now. It's starting to get in the way. All right. Okay, opened up just a little bit, feeling the movement. Let's add a little downward dog. So we're gonna do that when we hinge, we just can I we inhale, come up. And then we'll forward fold, but we'll stay up and just hinge and find some length here. So you're just gonna lengthen the body this way, roll the shoulders down, and you'll feel that all the way through the thighs, arms and shoulders, and then come on back, okay? So that's what we're gonna add this next time. So inhale, reach up, come into that extension, and then this time come into that um, seated downward dog. So just hinge the hips, lean forward, find that length. I'm gonna come back up, and then we're gonna go all the way into that forward fold. And then send yourself down, relax and release. And then work your way back up. Gonna do that one more time. Reach up. 
exhaling. Find that length. Activate the core. Sit down. <laughs> Come on back into that neutral. Relax the shoulders. And then let yourself fall down. Well, not fall down. Fall into yourself. <laughs> Fold into yourself. And then Come on up, work it back up into that seated position. All right, last time. Inhale up. Exhale, reach. Inhale back to middle. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up. go into um, a little lunge. We'll just allow the knee to fall and I'm just going to grab the block. Um, all right. I like to put it underneath my knee. Um, it can just hang there. You can absolutely use that. So just lean over to the way. I'm going to have my right knee on the side of the chair. Or you can do this on the couch too. Works that way too. And then just allow the left knee to fall. I'm going to bring that um, roll of toilet paper also works well so you don't have a block. Or you can just, you may be able to reach. I'm a short person, so I need to have that little, bring that ground up to me. Sit here for a second with the hips facing parallel. So you're facing the left leg. Just kind of adjust that a little bit, shake out the shoulders. I come into an open position. Um, we'll kind of rotate a little bit. Send the arms out. So bring the right arm forward and the left arm back, just opening the chest. And then bring the gaze across the right arm. And then relax and just let yourself come back. We'll come into a little twist. Bring that right arm behind you and bring the left arm up and over. Find this twist here. You can send this other arm this way if you'd like. In the right center. I'm taking advantage of the chair. <laughs> That's the advantage of the chair, right? Use the props that you've got. Use the tools. Let's come over to the other side. We're just going to do the same thing. So just send, twist your way around. Or you can stand up and sit down. I'm more of a wiggler. Wiggle around. Rotate those hips. Now we're facing the left knee. Shake out the shoulders. Come into that open position. Just send that left arm forward. Find some length. Send that right arm back. Open up the shoulders. Another twist. And then we'll come on back. Shake it out. And we'll use that chair, use that twist, come the other way. All right, come on back. Shake it out. Let's do some um, coming back to the legs and then I'm going to use the chair as a prop. So let's send our legs all the way out. I'll have to come back so you can see him. Here we go. I can't really see him, but we're there, there. My feet are at the bottom there. Let's do that point and flex. <laughs> point and flex. Point and flex. Give a little bit of love to your ankles. And we'll go into um, like a, a seated uh, tree. So I'm just going to bring my knee up, or bring my foot up. I'm going to come up and I'm going to put it on the inside of my thigh. So my right foot is flat on the inside of my thigh and I made this really open position. I'm going to sit back into my chair so I can use that prop, right, to help hold my foot up. Just avoiding the knee. 
foot can be here. It can also be down here um, at the shin, just opening up. If that's enough open for you, you can totally be right there. Just felt like coming all the way up here and then just finding rest, kind of odd, right? Resting into this, but open in an open pose. Bring the foot down. Let's go to the other side. I'm just going to do that same thing and bring my left foot up. Just find this moment of rest and length openness. And because I moved the other foot down, let's come down there just so I get that stretch as well. And it's a different stretch. So what does your body want today? Coming back up here. Because that's what felt good for me. All right, let it go. Roll those legs out. Let's do a little bit of an exercise element. So we did have a little rest. Hold on to that chair, and then let's do some little bicycles. So come into that pedaling motion. We'll do that a couple more times, and then we'll go reverse. I'm gonna make sure we go the other way. I find that I'm much better one way than I am um, in reverse. That's just me. Maybe you notice that too. My hip is cracky today. It's making all kinds of noise. You might notice that. That's the lubrication in the joints happening, right? As we warm up, that's why we do these exercises. We keep all that going. Okay, let's use this chair. So standing up if you can. I'm gonna come into just a deep stretch. So I'm gonna use my chair for doing that downward dog and we did before. And just take the chair. Let's see what's a better angle here. And then I'm just gonna step back. So stepping back, leaning back, opening my legs in the back, preparing to move to the mat. Continue breathing here. And then slowly walk your way up. Let's open up the legs just a little bit more. Come into um, dancer. So you do that by just grabbing the foot. So I'm ground, I'm rooted down um, on my right leg. And then reach up, find your foot. This might be enough. Maybe you wanna do more of a stretch. You can um, tick tock the hips. So, use that chair, find that extra balance. Come on back, wherever you were. Shake it out, other side. Ground down on the foot, send the other one out, bring the hand back, find the foot. I kind of stretch here first, and then, then I'll come in to my fold. Just being able to use the chair, you're able to get into a much deeper stretch. Perhaps that's what you're able to do as well. Come on back. And if you would like to join me on the mat, we're going to go a little bit deeper. I'm going to move my chair out of the way. Actually, I'm going to take one more um, forward fold. So as I kind of push it out of the way, come into another little leg lunge. And then open up just a little bit. I love to use all the things around. You can explore the body and do different things. So, do that too. Have fun. All right, now on the mat. Or just back in the chair. You can totally just stay seated. Go sit back down in the chair. Um, come back to breath. If that's where you end today, thank you for joining for some chair. That is totally enough. If you want to continue, 
Let's meet me on the map. And we'll go right from there into a staff position. Grab my strap. Just have all my little props all right here. So I use them all. <laughs> you don't have to have it. I actually like my blanket. I think my kids took it. They like to use all this stuff too. So I'm looking for a different prop um, just because it's a little, it's, you know, it's fabric, so it has a little bit more give to it. Um, another thing that works great for that is like a, a tie. You can use a man's necktie um, or like a, a robe. If you've got a robe, that also works. Or a belt or a strap. Um, they totally come in sets. You can get a block and a strap together. It's just going to help me come into this stretch pulling myself forward rather than hunching the back. Um, much different stretch. I'm going to feel the stretch all the way in the legs when I do that. Otherwise, when I just come in here and I'm trying to reach this way, you notice I start to hunch my back rather than this longer stretch. Hopefully it looked good like that where I was pulling myself properly. I definitely felt the difference. Um, always can um, bend the knees, you know, if that's what feels good. I'm going to go into that today as well. Let's open up the legs, bring the right leg into the left center. Same thing, reaching towards the left. You can also bring this in. And then let's crisscross over towards the middle. It was like the crisscross instruction. That was just something that um, an instructor, Michelle, had said one time, and that I kept that because it worked for me. So I hope you like that too. Come on over to this Bentley. I'm gonna grab that again. I'm using everything today. I just want all that extra comfort to kind of sit. And come on back, bring the legs back to forward, come into that straight staff pose again. Find another forward fold if that feels good. And then other side. Now I'm reaching towards my right, extending the toes and the nose towards the toes. I always say that backwards. <laughs> Continue breathing through the stretch wherever you're at. Let's tick tock towards the middle, crisscross those hands. Come on over towards that bent knee, finding this twist. Come on back into that extension one more time. Reach up, find that length, straighten, roll out the back. Come in to um, bring, the, uh, bring the feet together. I'm sorry, mind blank here in your um, bound angle pose. <laughs> your feet are flat together. Do that little butterfly. That's what my little kinders like to call it. So I don't call it bound angle pose with the kids. I call it butterfly. 
so it's just going back into that space. <laughs> They're so fun to work with. Anyway, it's coming to a forward fold. And let's get some legs in. Let's go right from here um, up onto uh, left knee. Right knee stays down. Come on up. Inhale, reach those arms up. Let's get that heart going a little bit. Exhale, let's bring the right elbow to the left knee. Keep going into that stretch. Come on back, bring both of those hands down, up into a runner's lunge. Finish opening up that leg. We'll go into a plank and switch sides. So, plank here, shake it out, and then bring that right knee up, or right leg up, left knee down. And then inhale, reach up. And then exhale, bring that left elbow over to the right knee. Find that twist. Come on back, bring those hands down. Come into that runner's lunge. Roll out those hips. Come on back to plank. We're gonna take a push up here. Exhale down. Inhale up. And then let's come down. We'll start our back bends. Exhale all the way down slow. Stop here if you want. Four legs back. All the way down. Point the toes. Keep those hands nice and close. Inhale, reach up, La Cobra. Exhale, down. Inhale, come back up. Stay here, La Cobra. Exhale, send the head the other direction. Exhale, down. Send those arms out just a little bit. We're going into Sphinx. That's all the way up to the elbows. Inhale up. Reach up. Look up. Now look in front of you. Point the toes. Find that length. Exhale. One more time. Same position. Inhale up. Nice back bend. Send the head the other way. Down. We'll go into that upward dog. That's going to be all the way up to the hips. Inhale up. All the way up. Elbows are locked. Well, not locked, but they're all the way up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale. Let's go into, um, you can take um, puppy dog, uh, dolphin, downward dog, whatever you want. Let's just get those hips up. So I'm going to start in here and a little dolphin here. Opening up. And come on up into down dog. Find your way up there. And let's walk it out. Shake it out. Let's do our sun salutation series. I'm tucking my shirt here. I don't know if that's going to help. Lots of bending. Okay. Inhale. Inhale, reach up. Extended mountain. Exhale, swan dive. Hinge the hips. Shake it out. Find that block if you need it. I love it. Inhale, halfway lift. Straight back. Exhale, all the way down. Shake it out. Let's go ahead and grab the elbows. 
really add a nice twist, relax, all the way through. A couple more times. And then come on up slowly. Be gentle to the head rush. Roll the shoulders back. Shake it out. One more time, we'll go all the way down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge the hips, bend the knees. Shake it out, let it go. Come on up, halfway lift. Exhale, do one. Bring those hands to mat. I'm not staying down for long. Just push on down. Find your way up. Downward dog. Walk it out, either hands to feet or feet to hands, whatever you're feeling today. Let it go. Shake it out. Come on back up. Let's bring those hands down to heart center. <laughs> bring in whatever intention you have. Let's come into a little warrior series. Um, we'll go left leg first, so left side is where I'm going. Inhale, bring those arms up. Nice strong warrior two. Find your positioning. Go into that extension first. Reach out. Drop that arm and extend up and over with the right. Find that length. Come on back, strong warrior two, activate the core. Flip the left, drop the right, come into that peaceful warrior. Inhale back, come on up. Let's switch just by going into goddess. Move the knees, drop into that squat, bring the arms up. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Hands can be wherever it feels comfortable. You can add that exercise element if you wanna come into um, a little side stretch either way. That's gonna get all of this if you're looking to activate that. Or, uh, Get rid of a little bit of that. If that's the goal for you. Let's come into our right. Um, so I've got my left leg here, right leg bent, warrior two, right side. Find the breath. And we'll come into that extension first. Reach out, find that length. Come on over, send the left arm up. Exhale, come back, strong warrior, activate the core. And then we'll flip the palm, drop the left, <laughs> come on up. Peaceful warrior, opening up the other side. Come on back, we'll come back into that goddess pose again. I need to bring my legs down in just a little bit. There we go. Settle in. This can be very comforting if you find the position. You just have to take a minute to take a minute to sit. All right, bring those legs together. Let's do our balancing. Come into that tree. I'm going to kickstand. I'm going to stand, find balance onto my right. And when I mean kickstand, I'm just going to use that. Bring my leg up, my toe up to it. And then open, open the leg, open the hip, and I can just rest my foot right there. Open my hips up, and then grow those tree branches. 
strong, big, make it strong. You can't see my arms, but they're way up. I'm reaching for you. All right, bring that leg back forward. And then just go over to the other side. Find that balance. And then I'm just feeling the kickstand. Bring the foot up. And then open the hip. Bring those arms in. Reach them out. Hi. I'm reaching for you, my little tree branches. Okay, bring that leg down and shake it out. Now that we're nice and open and facing forward, let's do a little series facing forward. Come into your warrior one. So our hips are both facing forward now. Going along with the mat. I like to call them the little railroad tracks or little skis. We're in winter, right? Well, we're now spring but it is wintry, so if you're in the snow, you got your little skis on. Let's go skiing. <laughs> Inhale, reach those arms up. Inhale, up. Bring in just a little bit of an exercise element. Lean forward, hinge the hips. Send those hands all the way down towards the mat. Scoop those fingertips up. Send the arms back. We'll do this three times. Inhale, bring the arms first, and then kind of push up with the knee. Reach the arms up. We'll go a couple more times. Reach up, hinge the hips, lean forward with the arms. Scoop those fingertips down towards the mat. Send them back. Inhale, bring the arms first. Push the weight down on the foot. Reach up, hinge the hips. Last time. Find that link, start to find that forward fold, and just trace those fingers, scrape them along the mat. Come on back up, find some rest, shake out that leg, shake it out, shake it out. Other side, find your beautiful train tracks or your skis. Make those hips face the right way. Ground your feet. Let's bring those arms in. Inhale, reach up. Plant those feet. Start to send yourself forward. Lean forward with the fingers. Hinge the hips. Come on down. Bring those fingertips right along the edge. All the way back. Come on back. Bring the arms first. Push through the foot, lift yourself up. There's one, let's go again. Reach forward, send the arms first, hinge the hips. Scoop the fingers, send them back. Find that extension, reach back. Lengthen up, all the way up. One more time. Lean forward. Send those arms forward. Drop those fingertips. Come on back. Hinge the hips. Push yourself up. Push through the foot. All right. Did it. Ooh, I know that's hard. <laughs> I feel it too. Shake out the legs. Give yourself some round of applause. <laughs> Let's keep going. Come into a high runner's lunge. We'll go left. Reach and up. Open up that leg. Give it a little bit, a little moment of rest. Other side here. Feel that stretch all the way through. Let's come into a little twist. Right elbow, left knee. Come on back up. Switch legs. You can be high on the foot, you don't have to be. I like it like that. I'm working the other side of my leg. If that's not comfortable, find what works. Left elbow, right knee. You gotta come down a little bit. You 
can always drop the knee. And you know, come on up. Shake it out. Let's come into, um, let's come into our, where am I going? Um, I'm just gonna have us lean in. We're gonna go into our um, warrior three. So um, left leg is um, in front, balanced. I'm on my toe on the right. And I'm just gonna first kind of lift up my foot as in lifting up my left foot, I'm going to add a little bend to my left knee. So right foot is lifting up, left knee is bent, and then begin to tip the hips. And then bring those arms out. And then straighten that leg if you can. <laughs> Find that balance. I'm coming back to my hips. And come on. Oop, that was a little much. That was as high as I could go. We practice. That's why it's called a practice. <laughs> come on back. Let's go to the other side. Absolutely grab that chair if you need that. I wanted to work on some balance. Kind of pushing myself a little bit. So starting here, finding the balance, left leg is pointed, and then I just find that little bend in the knee, and begin to lift and tip, tip and lift, and see where we're at here, and see where my arms are, a little more balance on this side, but I'm coming back, <laughs> come on up. Shake it out, feel it, feel the burn a little bit. Let's come down. I want to give myself a little bit of rest, and you too. Open up the hips just a little bit more. I'm the desiring pigeon. <laughs> so let's do a little sun salutations, find our way down. Come on up, reach up, find that expansion. Exhale, forward fold. Shake it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to mat. Come into that plank. <coughs> Excuse me. Exhale, let's come down, do a little push up. Inhale up. I'm gonna bring my foot up and in. So um, if you know pigeon, find your way into it. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm going to bring my right foot kind of up towards my left arm. So right foot is coming towards my left hand, and then I'm just going to sit into myself. That's how I'm going to get into this position. Find this beautiful back bend, hip stretch, leg stretch. I just love all of it. It's not for everybody, so if you don't like this, find something that you do, that get a stretch that feels good for you. Then I'm going to come up just by pushing myself back up into a push-up. Stretch my legs out a little bit. And then I'm going to bring my left foot up over towards my right arm. And then I'm just going to sit into myself. So just kind of now my right foot is at my hip. Loving my favorite pose it probably is there's well there's like half a dozen that, and this is one of them that's just a personal preference I carry so much stress in my hips that's just where I carry the weight of the world it's either in my hips or in my shoulders but I learned to release the shoulders and now it's for the hip action huh all right come on back go into that plank let yourself out let's come on down all the way we're not quite done. Let's go into Superman. Find some length here. Reach, 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 reach. <laughs> and then relax. Going into the locust. Just bring those hands back towards the feet. Inhale. Reach up. Option to take boat. And then let's come on back to the ground. To the belly, <laughs> roll on over. Ah. <laughs> and 
knees are up, a little constructive rest. A little bit more here, friends. Let's come into those leg rotations and knee rotations. Activate the core. Bring these knees around. Let go of anything else that's hanging out. Sometimes it's helpful to hold on to the mat. You can absolutely do that. Hold on, hold on to your mat, whatever you're laying on. Let's go the other way. And then let's drop those knees, come into that twist. If you want, this is a great time to bring this in again. You can totally go between the knees. That's what I'm doing today. Bring those arms wherever they feel good. Mine feel good in cactus. You can extend the stretch by looking the opposite way. I don't want that today. Bring those knees up, send them to the other direction. This one will take the stretch. Bring those knees up, come on back. Let's come into that. Um, Pine pigeon, so we'll do that same thing um, because again, it's just my fave. Bring the foot up, the uh, right foot up to left thigh. And this might be enough of a stretch, maybe end here, or you can bring the left thigh up and in, grab that thigh, pretzel yourself in, take an additional stretch. And then let's relax and release, going to the other side. Roll it out, bring the left knee up to the right. Take that extra stretch if you want it. Bring the right thigh up. Send those legs all the way out, shake it out. Come into that <sighs> fabulous corpse pose of just nothingness, <laughs> emptiness, if at all possible. Relax all the way out, all the way in. Spend a minute in your breath, spend a minute in gratitude for how your body showed up today. Thank you for being part of my practice. I'm not sure where we are here on time, doesn't really matter. If you all can stay, please stay for as long as you can if you're resting. <laughs> Take Savasana for many minutes, as many minutes as you can. All right. We're at about 48. That's fabulous. Excellent day, my dear ones. So that was trying to catch up on a couple of days of doing other things um, for the 25 minute a day stretch your stuff challenge for the Trevor Project. So there it is. We got a little bit of chair and a little bit of on the mat. All right, friends. See you back on track tomorrow.